This is construction management. The course number is BCM100. It's called Introduction to Construction. This is our gateway course in construction management, meaning uh, it's the first class in our major that our students take. And the great thing I think is that our students take this typically their very first semester at Purdue. So most of our students were just in high school six, seven months ago. Uh, and it's it's introduction to construction. And so it's not a lot about uh, the strength of a, a steel beam or a cantilever beam or concrete. It's about an overview of the construction industry in general, the different sectors of construction, uh, how how the business works, um, the different specializations that we have in our major. So it's a, it's a big over, 30,000 foot overview. This semester has been really exciting because we're, we're trying to make most of our courses a project-based learning experience. So uh, we come to this job site, we've only been here twice. And as you can see, it, it's a super complicated job that uh, a new student in construction probably won't understand a lot of the details, but it's a great opportunity for them to be out here on the job. So our students have internships every summer, so we want the students to feel 100% comfortable walking onto a job site so that they know about the personal safety equipment that they need to wear and bring. They know that they check in at the trailer. They know about the daily paperwork that's done on a job site. So it's, it's really to get them comfortable and set up for their first internship. So the learning objective when we come to the job site is really to, number one, most important, feel comfortable on a job site. I remember my first internship. I didn't know where to check in, what kind of boots to wear, where to get a hard hat. So all of our new students, they get a Purdue hard hat and a vest and safety glasses. And we want them to feel comfortable on the job site. They want, we want them to understand the safety aspects of it. We want them to understand what trades are responsible for what work. And just get a general overview so that, again, they go out in the summer for their first internship and feel really confident. There's four weeks left, but it's, it'll fly by. Right now we're working on our final project, which the project, again, is, is based on real learning. So the students will receive a problem, if you will, an RFI, a submittal, uh, something that is related to this job site. It's, it's not real. It'll be made up. But they'll have to then demonstrate through a PowerPoint and a narrative how they'll process that paperwork, how they interact with the other team members. So they're working on their final project, and then they'll be reviewing for their final exam. So next semester, it, it varies, but typically the next construction classes that they would take would be BC, uh, BCM 175, which is Strength of Materials, and that's the class where they learn uh, a lot more detail and do a lot of calculations about the strength of wood, steel, concrete, and that's where they will get exposure in our lab, in our building, which is a real construction lab. We have a two-ton crane and they'll actually strap on the tool belt and hard hat and build some small structures out of wood, concrete, block, and steel. And then they also will take uh, most likely uh, BCM 112, which is our introduction to surveying. I have uh, an interesting story. I think my degree is from Purdue. My degree is in construction management from Purdue quite a while ago. And I was out in industry for 30 years. So I worked in Chicago uh, on a couple high-rise projects, then in Los Angeles for a large commercial real estate company working in their interior construction group. So we did corporate build-outs for large corporations, law firms. Uh, and then recently, uh, my husband and I owned our own commercial company in Atlanta. It was a, a real uh, long-term dream of mine to come back to Purdue and really just to give back. I, I had a, a career beyond my wildest dreams, and truly, truly, it was because of my degree from Purdue in construction management. a small group touring today so it was fantastic and we had uh, the, the senior project manager and lead superintendent for the project walking with us which is quite amazing. Uh, Hunt has been just fantastic about making time for us but they, they did. They had some great questions about schedule, um, about the uh, progress and order of work. They asked about a temporary uh, road that Hunt put in um, around the existing building. They, they've looked at the plan so they were uh, comparing what they've seen on the drawings in class and now what they're seeing out here in real life. So the field back, a third of the practice field inside the home pump, and we'll start going all the way down. We're the room, we don't have it. Yeah, we're going to the room. Yeah. Design a little after the fact. Right. Yeah.
and pushed off on. Right, right pushed off on storm line. They, they couldn't have put it. this pool in the worst place. Right. Um, That's an existing storm line. We had to line it. Right. Hannah is a junior in our program. Uh, she's a fantastic student. She's one of our teaching assistants for Building Construction 100, and she does help with recruiting. She's done a fantastic job. So what do you think, Hannah? I would say, honestly, if you're really interested in coming here, definitely take a visit. Come see what we have to offer. Um, it's not really just hands-on in the book, uh, learning from a lecture. It's really things like this. We come out here and do things like this all the time, um, going into our lab and seeing physically uh, all the students actually building buildings, putting things together. Um, visiting will definitely give you a better idea of what we actually do here at Purdue. The real life application of it, you can learn you can learn only so much through a book and through lectures and your professors talking to you, but what you really learn is out here seeing it, seeing the real uh, people who actually do this for their living um, and what they do. So it kind of gives you just a better idea of where you're going to be once you graduate. What I think is so fantastic about how we're trying to um, add this aspect into our curriculum is that the students have looked at these drawings already. They, they've seen these drawings now for weeks and months and we do estimating projects and schedule projects based on the drawings for this building. So then they really get to see it in real life. So it's not it's even better than just touring a job site, which is still mm -hmm. great, but that they've seen the drawings in advance is, I think, really helps tie the two together.